Hey guys, today we're going to make these stickers. We need a printer, a cutting machine, a sticky photo paper and a file with sticker designs. I'm using Silhouette Curio machine and its maximum cutting area is 6 by 8 inches, which is about a half of A4 or letter format. And this is the size of paper I'm going to use. I'll show you how to use special marks to make sure the machine cuts were needed. I'm using Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and this is important because the basic edition does not open PNG files. And so let's start. First of all, we choose the file with stickers. It's uh, better to use especially designed PNG images uh, where each sticker has a white outline on the transparent background. You may find such uh, pre-made designs on digital marketplaces uh, such as designbundles.net or Etsy or just make your own. Uh, I'll leave a link to the sticker pack I'm using today in the video description. So I pick the PNG file. The image is much bigger than I need and I resize it. For that I left click on the picture and put the size I need into the boxes on the top bar marked with uh, width or height like W or H. Make sure that the lock is closed to constrain proportions. And then press enter. Uh, the image disappeared, but uh, we just need to move it back to the top of the document. Uh, put in zero for um, coordinates and press enter again. Uh, some adjustments to the size and placement. And now we should add the marks that uh, will be printed together with the stickers and help the cutting machine to see the cutting area. Uh, let's enlarge it to the maximum. And now I am placing the stickers inside the area between the marks and it has a red border. If you place the design above the marks or outside the area, uh, the machine may not recognize them. And uh, now it's ready for printing. I'm using A5 sticky photo paper for stickers. Uh, and now let's check the parameters. The A5 size, portrait orientation, I choose uh, Epson premium glossy paper, high quality, ok. Uh, it's, uh, I'm also unchecking the preview box, I press ok. it out perfectly. The marks are in place. Uh, don't make any changes to the file after printing before cutting. Now it's important to place the stickers on the cutting mat correctly. I check the marks in the file on the screen and on my paper with the stickers to match the direction marks, the little black square and the arrow. Then I place the sticker sheet to the mat according to those marks and the arrow. And make sure to stick the paper properly, especially if your cutting mat is not very new, like mine. I'd even press it down with my palm. And send it to cut. Let's check the properties again. My knife is set to 2, force 5, speed 2 though maybe higher, as I set to 1, and press send. The machine will first go over the angles to define the marks and then start to cut. Though my sticker sheet was not placed exactly right, the plotter has cut everything correctly thanks to the marks. Now the stickers are ready and I'm happy with the result and can't wait to stick them somewhere. For example, to my planner. I'm sure you can do that too. Thanks for watching. Bye bye!